Hey friends. So I'm going to do a really interesting project with you guys today. And uh, I, I don't, it's interesting. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a different take on the whole cloud and rainbow drawing. And so because it's such an interesting little drawing to make, I mean, really, you can have anyone do it. And this was inspired by a Snapchat filter from quite a while ago. Um, you know, I know a bunch of y'all sit and play with Snapchat and sometimes I sit there with my daughter and she just loves taking the pictures just because they do all kinds of crazy things and turn you all kinds of different ways and who doesn't love a good selfie, right? And there was that one where you would open your mouth and just the rainbow came uh, shooting out, right? So that's what this one was inspired by. And um, how many of you have heard the saying, uh, be a rainbow in somebody else's cloud? Uh, I think that's something that all of us need right now. There's, uh, you know, just a lot of clouds. And um, I think uh, I decided to do this project today because uh, you just don't know when somebody is struggling. And when someone reaches out to you and says, you know, hey, I'm not having a good day um, and they get written off. It's just, um, it, it's not a good feeling. And sometimes it's the, uh, the person who doesn't say anything, the person who is trying so hard to keep others uplifted, who is usually struggling the most, the person you don't expect. And so we all need to remember to continue to show kindness and to continue to show compassion. So, um, you know, remember to, to be somebody else's rainbow. You don't know who needs that little bit of extra TLC, that little bit of extra um, compassion shown towards them. So we are going to make some really silly rainbows today. And there it is. So, you know, I, I don't know if this is how rainbows begin. <laughs> <laughs> the cloud just says, <laughs> but this is our, our cloud rainbow today. Very simple to make, very silly, very fun. Uh, something that the kids enjoy. It's kind of one of those uh, filler projects when you've got a couple classes that are ahead of something and you're just like, eh, what are we going to make? Here we go. Let's do something neat. And so, um, Obviously, this works if you've got, um, it works better, I should say, if you've got a much longer piece of paper so you can really get that extension of all your rainbow. And it allows the kids to review the uh, rainbow order, which is Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Uh, if you don't have an indigo, that's fine. A lot of times in our crayon boxes, um, our colors get lost. So we just create our own indigo by mixing uh, the blue and the purple together. Uh, some of the kids are like, I don't know if I have violet. It's purple, friends. It is purple. It's kind of the same. So we will start this with our little cloud shape, obviously, at the top. Um, and then uh, make his two round eyes. As we work on our cloud shape, we're going to uh, leave it open so that he can just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can see her. Oh, and then we'll just uh, kind of expand our our little rainbow coming down. Can you not be on my hand? I need that. Let me get the can I get the rainbow to stay right here. Probably not. Eh, a little bit. <laughs> Whatever works. All right. So to create this, what we're going to do. Yes. Oh, I know. Come here, Captain Jack's gonna help me. Can you make them stay? Jack! Jack, you're worthless. Where's my other Jack? Captain Jack magnets. We're not drawing Jack, he's just helping me out. Alright, so to start this, um, we're going to create it. I'm, I used a black marker, obviously, to make the uh, cloud stand out a bit more and to create the outline of it. If you don't have a black marker, no big deal. Just like with any of my stuff, whatever you don't have, that's fine. Just use what you got, folks. Use what you got. We're, we're cool with it. Um, if all you got is a black crayon to make it stand out, no big deal. If you don't want your cloud to be have a black outline, do you want to be blue or purple, whatever, whatever floats your boat, fits your fancy, I don't care. I'm gonna make my black. I'm gonna stick with what I got. Um, I did draw in pencil first when I was doing it with the kids. 
Uh, so this way, oh, some of the kids did draw the bottom of the cloud um, in their mind. That was the easiest for them as a way to finish this and to create the concept, and that's that's fine. Um, a lot of kids are still very concrete thinkers, so they had a hard time with, what do you mean I can't finish the cloud on the bottom? This is he's. That's fine. Go ahead and do what you got to do in order to help you with um, your train of thought. So we're going to create the top of our cloud nice and fluffy. And then do the sides. And just a little bit on the bottom. Leave it open. I should do this in marker so you can see what I'm drawing, right? Yeah. Sometimes I forget about that. Do with the kids too. Miss Mims, I can't see what you're doing. <laughs> Sorry, friends. <laughs> All right, so I've got the top of my cloud done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve up and create the top of my mouth. So I left mine open. Again, if your child's doing this with pencil first and they create the bottom, that's fine. They just would have to erase it. And I'm going to start my rainbow. And what I did was I come out just slightly at an angle. If they come out even more at an angle, no big deal. Um, whatever they've got to do to give themselves room. We are going to have um, six to seven colors in there. If Seven if they're doing the color mixing with the indigo. So we're going to come out a little bit and just kind of start creating this drip pattern down and there it is and then I get a few little droplets coming let's see where else can I have one over here maybe and then I am going to close the top just a touch, because that is going to be the top of the back of the mouth, so to speak. So it does create a little bit of an image of space. So, oh. No, he's starting a rainbow. He's not throwing off the oh, No, we don't want to think about that. That's, that's grossness. But he's throwing off a rainbow. He's not. He's starting a rainbow. I know. The rainbow comes from the clouds. Don't argue with me. Okay. I'm your mother, I'm right. I know. <laughs> you know what we're saying? We're from the camera. I know. Stop. And then um, I did the eyes so they were kind of laid down, only just because they fit better. Whatever your cloud looks like, if your eyes are going to stand up. The eyes are creepy. That's because they're not colored in yet. <laughs> I mean, they're not colored in. They're going to look a little creepy. And then I leave a little bit of white space. So, you know, color them in. You want to color your eyes different than what I did, of course. Once again, that is okay. Okay. Okay, I, I don't need a course. How's your classwork coming? Just out of curiosity. Good, I'm already done. So there we go. We are ready for coloring. And then, of course, um, the Roy G. Biv is going to go as your picture sits in front of you from left to right. Um, that is our color order. You weren't out here when I said it. What is Roy G. Biv? Do you remember? Roy G. Biv. What is Roy G. Biv? I don't know. Now that you do know. Yeah, I don't remember. And you just kind of start coloring. Um, some students do find that they have to kind of draw a little line for each section so that they see. I can't even see it. <laughs> well, I try not to draw it too dark and break it up before they color it in and give themselves um, like a guideline so they know how far to color it. I think this project's going to match my hair. You make me come into the big rainbow and you're wearing rainbow earrings. Mm hmm. Yeah, my best friend gave me these earrings. Who is your friend? Well, I have lots of friends. But Ms. Amber gave me these. Oh, I do have lots of best friends. 
And then just start coloring them in. And the drips, whatever color you color them, right under. And we're just going to continue right on across. Yay. And that's how it's going to go. So there you go. About the rainbow? So there's our little cloud. So hopefully you guys uh, like that. Just something a little humorous to kind of brighten up your day. And there you go. So, all right, guys. Be safe. Take care of each other. Go out and spread some rainbows. Well, don't go out. Find another way to do it. <laughs> but spread some rainbows. Take care of yourself and others at the risk of sounding like Jerry Springer. And uh, show some kindness today. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.